planner friends this is jan with jan happy planning thank you for joining me for another video and today for you i have a completely different um, video setup um i am sharing with you my very first december daily um i'm started in 2021 but i'm already thinking that I'm going to be doing some in um, retrospect and because I just I just love it I have been spending a lot of my time um, researching uh, watching a lot of Ali Edwards um, videos I have been uh, I have already ordered the uh, this year's um, December daily main kit which is uh, arriving at some point it will probably arrive in december because of all the um, issues with um, traveling and whatnot uh, in terms of uh, packages so i'm not um i'm gearing up to it but uh, i will do when it gets here so it's okay uh, i'm patiently waiting i have ordered a few things and i'm going to uh, share with you a little bit of a happy meal as well which is obviously um for christmas and i just wanted to show you what i uh, where i am uh in my december daily so this is last year's um plenty thing cover that came in the advent calendar um, now, I'm just hoping that for this year there will be another one uh, and I'm hoping for a classic size, but let's see what the advent, uh, this year's advent will bring me. So anyway, I have just done a very, very simple nothing um, special charm I've used. I think these are from the Lindt um, chocolates, uh, bunny chocolates maybe, I'm not, I'm not so sure, it's probably the December one. And it comes with a jingle bell and i have just used this little charm that came in last year's happy planner um christmas accessory pack or companion whichever it is um that's where it comes from so um that is the charm attached to um these actually uh, come from the jungle happy notes um the mini ones so i i'm going to show you this is where i am at the moment i just done um uh some of uh, the prep work uh, but i'm also leaving a lot of things open because um i know i'm going to change my mind i haven't done numbering apart from this one but i'm not really into it so they are going to change uh, when some of the uh, products that I have ordered uh, with Ali Edwards as well as uh, with Cuftelier come in I'm, I'm not so sure maybe I'll find something else um, but it's going to be chunky so I am looking for uh, changing the discs for this one so I will probably have to um, temporarily use some other uh, discs I have and that is it. I had shown you this before. Um, I think, I believe these are some of the papers. Actually, I hope that the blue one is here. It's not, but it's the candy one is. So I'm going to borrow that page there because I need to do something else. So uh, my December daily starts with this sort of D for December, but it's not really a D. It's a half circle and I'm sure you I'm going to show you where it comes from um it comes from this it's this is from the happy planner uh it's a little bit battered because i use this as a template to cut this felt which is very thick it doesn't go through my happy planner puncher unfortunately so i had to do it by hand and it's not very good uh, but it will have to do and the plan is that i'm going to use this template as well to uh, put maybe here or I'm going to probably um, print something in the back I'm not so sure what uh, I'm going to do for my reason why um, this year 
um, I'm planning to do a recent wipe, but I might actually change my mind a little later when December starts. But in any case, I thought of putting my recent wipe when you open into whites. But now that I'm seeing it, I don't really like it. It could be a photograph or it just could be just simply the red one. And I will probably use this vellum or a different vellum. This is actually a tracing paper and I have just traced this from uh, one of my calligraphy books uh, from June and or something in June I can't remember just one second okay I have just grabbed the uh, is the ultimate guides uh, of modern calligraphy I got the French, French version because I'm in France and I bought it through Amazon and it's from Kristin from uh, June and Lucy, um, junelucy.com or at June and Lucy is her Instagram handle. So I, I just went to the back where you have these big words. Um, and I just, I think it's here. I just dress this, I put the vellum on top and I just dress this. It's just as a, uh, as a trial, whether I'm going to like it or not. Um, I have ordered some vellum, which is slightly thicker than this, but this is just plain tracing paper that I use for calligraphy. Um, it makes your um, brushes last longer uh, because it depends. You really have to, doing calligraphy, you really have to do, have, sorry, have a uh, good quality paper. Uh, so I've just traced that with some... Um, I've bought myself three different, which I have left it in my other desk, uh, three different um, gold pens. And this one that says home is actually paint uh, from Pentel. And um, yeah, uh, this one is the thin one. And I'm just going to grab you, uh, grab them so I'll show you. So here I'm back again, and uh, one of them is the P Pilot Pintor, and it has this, um, it, it sinks in to bring out the, um, the ink, um, then which is the one that I use for the circle, then I use this one, which is my favorite. I have another one, I'm not sure whether it's from Pentel or Pento which is this one it's actually from pilot uh it's a gold marker but i lost the tip and when you sort of press it it's it just blobs out and it's a mess but there is still uh, a lot of ink in there um, that's why i haven't thrown it away uh, this one is from pentel and it's a paint marker and it's lovely um, but you have to be careful because it slightly spreads and this one is from Pilot. This is the G1 Broad. I think it's one millimeter. Yeah, 1.0. It just says in there. And it's very good. I used it for the little one. My preference, it depends on the paper. Um, in this sort of tracing vellum paper, it's I kind of like this one a lot more than this one. But this one looks very good on paper, um, better than this one. And well, the little one is it's good for um, just writing things. So um, I have that vellum there. Next, I have a, uh, I cut this one in a tag shape and I punched it through. Um, the idea is that I, um, my journaling will go underneath so i just have to cut a, a special piece probably this size and i'm going to stick it to the background which is this one and then when this one swivels it uh, shows off the uh, bit of journaling that i've done and the idea that on the other side it will be a photograph that of course will depend on where i'm going to put this it might be there it might come out later this is my reason why there are a couple of typos there and I'm just working on it because I thought that I would use this uh, on the back of this. So this will have to come at the front like so. And 
this might come here. Now the the papers I have at the moment, which I are almost all of them used, is this from Moda Scrap, and uh, it's called Sweet Christmas, and um, I have almost used all of it. So I'm also uh, waiting for other stuff and see whether I'm going to have to find more paper or um, highly likely that I'm going to find a, a more paper. But anyway, um, let's see what the main kit brings as well. So in here, I have done a double page of this paper. I'll have to fix this because it's slightly, this one is, is a little better, but not so much. Um, I'm going to reinforce these tags, which are short, uh, with a bit of journaling there, but I'm going to use um, cardstock to give it a bit of, uh, a bit of more um, reinforcement in order to go in. At the moment, I have clips, but I'm going to probably staple it. Um, the ribbons might change. These are leftovers. I have to cut the ends. And I've gone through with my sewing machine and some pink thread all the way through. Uh, you can see it better here, uh, where I have divided the two uh, slots for the... Um, this is going to be wishes, basically uh, Santa's letter, but we're adults, we don't have children in the house, and it's just what we wish for each other. Uh, this year, and the idea is that I'm going to put uh, the initial of our uh, names, one for B, one for myself, and um, some embellishments, but again, that will come later. I'm going to make daily videos. Uh, showing you the process of what I've done. Um, this is page protectors, which I have finally found. And I have to say not via the Happy Planner website because I, they haven't restocked this and I haven't got a clue why. Um, I bought it in La Fourmi Creative, which is a site in France, physical site as well as online. They are very much like uh, craftelier and they had um, a few packs of these and I got myself two um, each one comes with 12 six uh, of this sort of um, layout so you have two by twos uh, that's in inches and then this one the bigger one comes at the bottom but I've just realized that you can actually turn this upside down because the punches are exactly in the same place. So when you see the, uh, not here, but if you see them here, that I have them um, laid out there uh, at the back, if you if you um, turn it upside down, they actually line with each other rather than not when you turn sometimes something upside down. If you punch it yourself and you don't pay attention to these uh, punch holes, that's what happens. So at the moment, um, I just have two by twos from the same line of Smother Scrap. I've chosen a couple of uh, stickers from uh, um, the last Christmas um, sticker book from the Happy Planner, which is somewhere here. Uh, if I didn't put it away, I don't think I put it away. It's just somewhere else. Um, and um, and uh, this one comes from Maybe the same one or a previous one, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see it immediately there. So um, it may be, maybe not be in this one, but in any case, I'm using the stickers um, as well as for planning, although I haven't planned anything for a week, to be honest, um, for this, um, uh, for this daily and this one is a clear one which I have put into some paper um, to make it pop and what I'm going to do is use these foam squares to uh, give it a 3D effect and it's going to go back in the slot here where's the entrance to the slot sometimes it's difficult to see where it is um, so that's that one and at the back, I have, again, used some stickers and some washi tape uh, for it. And I'll probably journal here or maybe put 
uh, photographs and a photograph here. So it's, it will depend on the day, uh, again, as I said. This is another idea and I just have some sticky notes there, one or two pockets per page and overlaid with different color tags. So um, this is actually a little envelope, as you can see, from uh, Plenty Thing, last year's advent calendar. And I've just punched a thumb hole in there and put these guys in. I am not so sure at the moment how I'm going to lay this out. It could be on a vellum, it could be on acetate, or it could just be on one of these pages. So I'll show you. Um, this page, for example, has a punched Christmas tree, which is a small punch I got last year from Plenty Thing Advent Calendar. So I have done this like so. This is an idea borrowed from Ali Edwards. I think it was last year's or maybe this year's kit, but it's an add-on and I didn't get that. So what I did was to cut these guys like that. And I've just done two out of uh, six and they're going to open like so and I'm going to uh, glue this uh, border the outside border I have to score here so it will be able to open I have done this one already so it will be able to open like so and inside I may put a picture or I may put some journaling so the idea is that I can do either two and have um, a little bit of uh, playing around with embellishments. But if I put two, I will need three pages, which is two sheets. But if I do three and they're facing each other in a spread layout, like so, then I can put all of them. So I can just do for example, let's say that that's not there, but maybe on this side, um, it will have to be like so because there are equal amounts of patterns and illustrations. So I could do something like this and um, then you have all of that day um, with a number uh, of whatever material. I have some red felt um, that I could use for numbers as well. Uh, so I could do that. And that's definitely something that's going to appear in my December daily. I just don't know which day. It might be different days that I will repeat and I will only use two. And then um, as I progress, um, I will see how that plays within the uh, within the album. So that's another idea. This piece of paper is from um, Arthur and Olive um, pad, the one that comes like this, and you have craft, you have blue, and you have green. I know that they have one with white. Um, you can get that as well, or if you have it, you can use that to put pages this has to be recut because um, I punched it in the wrong way it actually is better like this it fits this way slightly but not quite and I've just put it on the side just thinking that what I want to say with this uh, pattern this might be uh, stick to something else because this comes from the memory keeping pads that the Happy Planner came up uh, the, uh, came up with this year for memory keeping to add to your memory keeping journal. Uh, so I just cut one to size and I um, punched the holes. Um, was it, does it come punched? I think it comes punched. It's just that I didn't line it uh, how it sh I should have done. But anyway, that's another uh, sticky note. It says sew around with a contrasting thread match with photo or else. So another tag with a punch tool, I use this is, um, well, it's not a stamp, it's a, um, now I have the word in French. Um, it's a stencil 
from um, Plenything last year's uh, advent calendar and the idea is that I will put a whole photograph on the other side maybe or just journaling it might sit like this it might sit on um, in a pocket made with vellum I will show you because I've did something similar already not with vellum um, but with um, another paper this is another of the uh, of the um, page protectors this is a beautiful Christmas card it's actually two or three um, different designs from very many years ago I think they were from Clinton cards um, that's in the UK and I have kept one that I gave to uh, Bruce or yeah I wrote it so or I did write it for somebody else and I misspelled something so I just redid it again and I kept this one because I love cats as you may know and um, it's just too cute so I've always had this in my stash never knowing what to do with it so now I know this is from uh, is it the new sticker book no these are from the stickers I bought in Lidl I just overlaid with a circle tag uh, glued it onto the uh, motor scrap paper and put the sticker on top so this might be a page dedicated to my cats and with some journaling at the back um this is again motor scrap this is from the washi tape shop i think this um gold uh, thin washi the red washi here is from ikea and this little um, I don't have it here on my on my desk, but it's a part of paper that came in the last uh, plenty thing um, box. I think it's a December box um, that came with um, this sticker book, Christmas Joy. So I put that there. It's a bit longer, but I just cut. Um, I think it's the nutcracker on this side, and I'll see what I can do in here. I could do as a division for a new day uh, put the number and then at the back a photograph so I have these ones that are um, the motor scrap is only printed on onto one side so I could do a design here um, some embellishment some photographs on top some journaling at the back or vice versa I've just cut myself this uh, paper from uh, Archer and Olive um, as a tree I just um, used uh, some sewing tools um, some rulers and I just made myself uh, like a Christmas tree and I was thinking that I could do two of them and I will probably put the number on this side um, whatever Norm Norman for uh, 2021 and when you open it there's going to be another one of these, but the um, obviously on this side, and then a photograph on top of it, and that's going to be um, this year's Christmas tree. It's an idea. Um, I'm also going to do a gratitude page. Um, I will probably use some stamping, um, but I will see. I want to do uh, 10 things that I'm grateful for in the month of December, and yeah. Actually, now that I'm seeing this thing here, it's it's a. I went to my local um, stationery shop and I found this uh, quite. They're quite cheap actually. They're less than a euro, and I think I'm going to place this one here. Um, I'm going to get some uh, um, cheap board uh, phrases and I'm going to overlay with that and. That's going to be my opening page. It will probably also say December 2021 at some point. If I choose not to put 2021 at the front. Um, so that should actually go there. So we're going to go back to where we were. So um, the uh, 1 to 10 things I'm grateful for. Uh, followed by a photograph or... An acetate um, I will see 
so we have more pattern paper for whatever we need now this is the um, pocket i was talking to, uh, i was talking to you about a few, couple of minutes ago so i did this um it's just the uh the white uh card i punched uh with the planeting puncher of a christmas tree and this is actually from um eco park and i forget i think it's christmas magic collection um this is another uh pocket from uh, um planeting advent calendar uh, of last year's it says happy times are here and this time i just punched one uh thumb hole and you can see the inside pattern of the paper and i thought i thought that it was really nice it says inside enjoy your gift uh, which is a, a a really nice find if you care to look inside so that's there for whatever idea i'm uh, thinking and this is again another tag self-made or diy tag with a model scrap and the idea is that this is removable removable at the moment so uh, i could use another uh, piece of cardstock white cardstock or um, a photograph and place it at the back to reinforce it as well and that's going to go there um, i could put a number at the bottom and some embellishments uh, for that day again place for a photograph and more paper in here i had something with red that has transferred but that's not a big deal uh, okay this one is already done which is um this one i brought it to the front the things that i think are already almost done at the front so bubbles that flip for journaling and photos okay um which is this ones it's i call them bubbles but they're not really bubbles uh, i could use it on that let's see where they are the ones that have a window okay let's do this so let's keep them outside for the moment here this one because it's um it, it will contrast nicely with this blue i think so it's basically like so and then you have the other ones see um, there is a reason why this pattern is not within the six so that could be an idea um for that specific paper now here is the remaining of the um page protectors and I still have, there's six of one design and six of the other. Um, so the big one is here, it's in the middle and in this, in here, it's at the bottom or at the top if you want to flip it. Um, and at the back, I just have a few things that I want to, um, I take this with me upstairs and while I'm watching videos, um, an idea comes up and I'll write it there for later. So now that's all um, for my December daily at, as of today. Uh, we're still mid um, November. So um, I'm filming this on the 19th and I, um, I'm going to show you now um, the uh, washi I got. I just want to put this here to remind me. And this, I'm going to put in the front uh, so I may use I brought it this time some of these because I, I realize I said in my previous video about my December daily that I may use this to send um, to people but these cards specific cards of course I can I could give one to my husband they come with no envelopes so I have to make my own in, if I want to send them. So I said to myself, I could use this for um, within the uh, within the December daily. So I just have to punch it. I will probably have to cut it 
if I'm not going to use um, open it like this I could actually use it this way and punch these sides um, and then it's something that's going to flip from these sides uh, and it will embellish at the same time on the other side so um, I will do that if I punch it I think it will come to the size the right size I need so um, again there is no uh, prescription for your December daily you can use different sizes of things you can have uh, I have also an idea of a concertina um, uh, mainly for photographs so um, that has to be um, prepared in Photoshop because I need to print directly uh, my photographs onto the paper that then is going to be folded in a concert in a way and be uh, punched and then added to my December daily album so I'm going to put these guys they were through here but they go a little bent so I'm going to leave them as is so this is um, no actually there is one more thing now that I see it I'm just going to put it back where it belongs I have one more idea I want to share with you and it's I'm going to take this page out and the idea is that I have I borrowed it and I can't remember her name but I'm going to put it on the uh, um, on the screen and the description box if you want to see it so I'm going to use this this pattern paper which is the brown paper I'm going to cut a slightly bigger um, square and the idea is that I'm going to lay these guys in a way that is going to make a Christmas tree. It's exactly the same as this lady's idea. Um, but that's not a problem. We can borrow ideas from other people. The thing is that I may have to use three because that it will depend on and how I'm going to embellish this um, this page. I might actually do it on acetate so it will pop out depending on what uh, is behind it because four is going to be slightly pushing it but if I start here I just need to align properly in between so I'm just having to cut and then place this other one for example like so and I need to be careful on the layout of the, um, not this one, but um, of the colors. And they, I am not sure whether they need to, she did it this way. So you, the, um, the thread, the one underneath, you don't really see it. But I might actually do, give a little bit more space. I will see. And I will probably do as well. Um stitch it onto the paper rather than glue it um because i think she used um um hot glue which it's okay but sometimes it depends if it's if it's a paper it will not show but if it's an acetate for example it will show so it will um sort of follow this um a wavy way of going up um I could actually do it this way I don't know I will see and finally I have these um, stars it will have a little star at the top so that's an idea um, that I need to put in here um, and I need to write the um, sticky note for it so I don't forget so that is um, this is it this is all the uh, preparation pages I have so far for um, the December daily I have uh, I'm watching a lot of things as well so um, it's very entertaining and people's creativity it, it's mind-blowing seriously and I am glad that now I have discovered this because um, as I said uh, when I searched the video I think I'm going to be doing um, my previous December dailies because the photographs are there and that is the thing now in a digital world uh, you tend to keep your photographs in your computer 
and you never really look at them. So this is a beautiful way to get them out, print them, journal. If you don't remember, it doesn't matter, but they are in a nice album where you can embellish to your heart's content. So uh, next is the uh, little haul I did with um, the washi tape shop. Um, so uh, this is it. So uh, we're going to um, open it. And they just came up with another set of Christmas washi, which I didn't see when I ordered this. So I will probably just give it a miss because there are so many things that um, I'm also looking forward to getting if I can. And that is also the Happy Planner. So the washi tape shop, Merry Christmas. Oh, this is beautiful. And I'm going to incorporate this uh, in my December daily. And I just got um, a 15% discount for next time. That's great because sometimes I forget about these things. And uh, I, I always use a um, an affiliate link. Uh, last time I used uh, Mary Ellen's link. So that is great. Um, but yeah. Sometimes uh, I forget and I'm crazy looking for it. Uh, so let's start with this little... It is beautiful. I didn't think it was this beautiful. So this is a one centimeter by three meters. And it's five different um, patterns. Um, so it's all... I can't remember what the name is. Basic pattern tape. Uh, the dream of life um, So it's um, so this one is it, the one that really got me it's like confetti uh, So we have like a chevron uh, Pattern here it's, I'm not sure whether that dots or and then mountains and then uh, triangles So that is that And then we have the Christmas one I just don't want to tear this paper because I love this paper and at the moment I'm thinking constantly what uh, things I could actually use in my December daily and since it's going to be a lot of pink uh, for some reason there is a lot of pink um, Yeah, that would be nice. Um, just as a reminder, you can reuse these stickers, you know. They come in very easily. They come off very easily because they are washi stickers. And the purpose is that you can reuse them in your planner. So this one says Christmas and it's two beautiful cats. So for me, it's like, you know. So where can I put this? I need a little piece of wax paper. And now we can open it. And this is the Christmas collection. And it is just so adorable. So um, we have some ornaments in the tree and some presses. I will show you a. Um, because these have backing, yeah. I will show you a, a photograph later on of um, this on a uh, white background. Because, let's see, I have to... Let me use this. So, we have this one. And then... We have these are gifts on a pink background. So I'll show you a uh, close up. And then it's this. I'm just going to remove this from here so it stays in place. I don't know whether all of them are going to fit. Oh, 
it's going to be messy. It's going to be messy. Right. And then we have this very large one. Um, uh, which is cats. So they're having a party. Cats and sewing and a cat tree, a cat as in with uh, all the uh, the lights and it's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's a very um, pale white background and it's just going to pop up so much. I love the red. So this one has Rudolph in it, as I can see, and some gifts on, again, and candles, stars, candy cane on a white background. And we have uh, ornaments, um, again, in a white background. I'm loving this, um, this washi. Um, absolutely gorgeous so they have browns and reds and blush colors and it's just beautiful with some uh, snowflakes in the background so i hope you see that uh in any case if you don't see i will um do the um, strips and show them to you and this one is on uh brownish background and some sweaters and socks and hats and some heart-shaped uh, gingerbreads and coffee mugs and presses and it says uh, what does it read Merry Christmas so it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so um, that is that one and then we have um these are washi um what are they called again i can't remember it's something to do it's the ones that you can remove so um my words fail me fail me um They could be washi stickers instead of washi tape, if that's how they call it. Yeah, uh, so this one, I believe you can remove, but I don't, yes, there. So you can remove them um, from the backing, which is brilliant because sometimes this backing is uh, painful to remove so they have different um, illustrations in it so um, this is one of them and then we have they're very retro there's quite a, a bit of brown but I like that because there is a little bit of brown in the Christmas one so we have uh, books sweaters teacups candles a radio some flowers and uh, some potted plants and this is the Higa time uh, so or Huga I believe is pronounced um, and then we have cats which is why I chose this one because they have one specifically and the cat came off um, okay this one needs to go into the um, um, baking paper because I need to put it back later so those are different cuts in there and I'm going to have so much fun using this in my planner or my December daily uh, or anything that I want to put them on and this one is flowers I'm just peeling it off very carefully now because I took another one off this one uh goes here try to put it back as best as i can 
so those are different flower arrangements and you can build your own um, field of flowers so that's nice and we have some rainbows and I'm peeling it off again okay so and some uh, butterflies um, these are really beautiful I'm loving the uh, actual colors I love it I really do it's um it's beautiful work actually and the last one but not least is what we're looking forward to in this uh, season which is a lot of cakes uh, so we have all sorts and including ice cream and I'm in love with it so I am looking forward to uh, using these guys um, especially on the baking day or in my uh, um, December daily because I'm, I'm I have gotten myself a couple of um, cookie um, stamps you actually they cut as well uh, so I'm looking forward to using them and making some uh, Christmas cookies and sharing it with you of course you have to see them you have to make your own and eat them but it's going to be uh, lovely to use this particular one to um, embellish um, the spread so this is from, from me this is all I have to show you um, my small haul from the washi tape shop as well as my um, foundation pages uh, for um, my this very first December daily again I will um, all the people um, that I have mentioned uh, as well as um, for example the washi tape shop and where I'm getting my um, my December kit from Ali Edwards which is aliedwards.com um, that's everything is going to be put in the description box uh, with links so you can go there directly uh, thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and comment below what you think of what you have seen today and hit the notification bell for my next video and I hope to see you on my next one. Take very good care of yourselves and happy planning. Bye!